Hey everyone, thank you for joining our webinar today about scalable solutions for every engineer. Um, talking about Design Spark and SolidWorks Electrical. Some quick housekeeping if you've never used GoToWebinar before, please use the questions dialog box, not the chat window. If you have any questions, we do record the questions so that if you um, if you have any comments. Put them in there and we will, as I said, we'll record them and we'll take a look at them a little later on. So RS Components and Allied Electronics is the world's largest distributor of electronics and maintenance products. And Dassault Systems is the global leader in intelligent and collaborative engineering solutions. And we've partnered in order to provide you with the most comprehensive tools and information available, helping you on your path to success. Now, CJ, is there anything else you want to add to that? Yeah, for sure. And I think what we've what we've got here is RS Components has made a tremendous investment in Design Spark family of products, creating an amazing community. This partnership we hope to gather to extend the value that they've created with Design Spark into our community at the So Systems. So we're very excited about the partnership. And we know it'll add value to both the SolidWorks community as well as the Design Spark community at large. All right. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Dassault System SolidWorks, we offer a wide variety of solutions that allow you to connect and collaborate more effectively and efficiently. That's great, but what does that really mean for you? Well, you can continue using Design Spark as normal which can be found through RS Components and Allied Electronics website. But now you also have access to the best engineering software solutions on the market. And as you and your company grow, we're here to provide you with valuable solutions, support, and training so you can become even more successful. So to put this in a better perspective as to what SolidWorks Electrical is and what it's really used for, my uh, our our idea of what Design Spark is typically used for is a couple smaller projects, you know, with light automation and basic documentation. But what if that's not enough? Well, that's where SolidWorks Electrical Standard comes into play, where you would start working with small to medium projects, and that provides increased report capabilities and automation. And if that's still not enough, there's SolidWorks Electrical Professional. For designed for more of the medium to large projects, but more importantly, has the collaborative environment. It is highly automated and has full reporting capabilities. So let me add something to that, JP. <clears throat> so what we've got together with RS Components is we've got a high performance environment in Design Spark that really is superior in, in the ability to create electrical schematics and designs compared to generic CAD tools used predominantly by the industry. So if the need arrives for their users to extend that, that capability to more sophisticated and up to global engineering teams, we have a continuum that's fully compatible with each other, upwardly compatible, to where you can go to any level of engineering uh, across uh, even to a global scale. So together, we've got really an unmatched family of products that really suit every need out there for electrical engineering and controls engineering design. That's correct. So I, I didn't mention that. that it is it is 100 percent upward compatible with uh, Design Spark is upward compatible with SolidWorks Electrical and SolidWorks Professional. So if if you start out with Design Spark, as many of you have Design Spark, which is a tremendous value and a tremendously capable software package, but you find you need additional capabilities, that's why we partner together with ours components and Allied Electronics is to provide this this pathway to any level of usage that you might need for your organization or individually. And that's, I think, what's so exciting about this. That, And really, there there is no other offering in the industry that really suits every use case and every type of user that we might encounter. So we're, mm -hmm. we're very excited about this and hope you guys are as well as we get into the technical details of, of what that'll mean for you. So speaking of technical details, we're about to get into that. <laughs> ah, amazing. So... We already know Design Spark. I'm not going to lecture you on its capabilities, but rather what the future holds in regards to your schematic design process when you've reached 
um, that maximum throughput of what DesignSpark offers. And that's where SOLIDWORKS Electrical Standard comes into play. Now SOLIDWORKS Electrical is the exact same interface that you already know, but with a lot more capabilities for you to take advantage of. So here are a few things that we wanna share about SOLIDWORKS Electrical Standard. And, and as of course, this first one here applies to the professional level as well, but per perpetual licensing. There's no need to submit for reauthorization every time. You buy it, you own it. It's as simple as that. The other major factor is there's no sheet limit, which provides you the ability to handle a lot larger, more robust projects. And then the electrical content portal, which goes hand in hand with uh, the components that you can already get from RS components, but you, now you have access to what we call the ECP, um, which contains millions of real world manufacturer parts and the metadata behind those parts as well. A few other key features and delighters that I like to bring up, nodal indicators. It allows you to display the wiring order directly in a schematic, or in this case, piping order. The terminal strip manager allows you to organize and manage all of your terminal blocks within a project, but also can provide you with an alternate graphical representation of each individual terminal block. And from here, you can actually generate a, a drawing that will go into your project as well. Design role checks, they're more than just basic reports. These can assist you with increasing a project's overall accuracy by helping you avoid unnecessary errors. Things like fill duct ratio or voltage drops in cables. 2D cabinet creation, providing the ability to create cabinet layout drawings that are directly connected to the specific components that you've already called out in your schematics. So every single one of these components here are tied to symbols that I've already written out in my, and drawn out in my schematic. A couple additional features on the schematic standard side, permanent components. They allow you to add additional layer of protection to your components, helping to prevent any type of, of operator error or prevent deletion. Automated contact cross-referencing, which allows you to communicate between multiple symbols that are all connected to the same component. And then your formula manager, which is the ability to create more robust formulas for wire numbering schemes and your reporting capabilities. So taking SOLIDWORKS Electrical to the next level, let me introduce SOLIDWORKS Electrical Professional. And what we get in the pro version is we have the ability to take Excel export and import capabilities. And what this does, what I like to use it for, is I will design my schematic and I can export that information from the schematic and take that metadata and I can push that out into a spreadsheet. I can manipulate that spreadsheet as necessary and import that information back in and it will overwrite what I've already got in my schematic. The other option, PDM connectivity, allow you to, uh, to control your electrical project data from directly within one of our other, our other tools called product data management. And we actually have a toolbar as you can see here that connects directly to that PDM tool. We also have an ERP database connection, which allows you to connect directly to another external database. So if your company is already using something for their logistics team to control all the manufacturer parts, you can easily go ahead and connect that. And now you have that live connection of data so you know which parts to choose that are already in stock rather than going in and picking something out of your own manufacturer part library locally. Report customization. This is one of the most um, powerful features we have where you can now take a basic tool, a basic uh, report, I should say, your two from wireless, your bill of materials, and now you can enhance it and start to pull um, other information from all different types of tables within your SQL database. To go along with all the basic features in SOLIDWORKS Electrical Professional, there's also what connects to the mechanical side. And this is where the 3D connectivity and collaboration come in. Now, in this image here, we can see that I've added a pump on the mechanical side in my 3D model, which has manufacturer part information. Inside that manufacturer part information, I've also called out a symbol. So now on the electrical side, all I need to do is simply select insert symbol, and that information, that symbol will now appear on my schematic and it is tied directly to that 3D model that we have here. And it's two way. So if I wanna edit the symbol first and push that information over to the mechanical side, now the mechanical engineer can simply right click and insert that part as necessary. 
So this this so helps me, you to avoid this helps you to avoid that um, that going over to the other guy's cube or gal's cube or making that phone call. It helps bridge that gap a little bit better. CJ, you had something to say? Yeah, let me add to that a little bit. Many of our customers, uh, the, the so System Solvers, as you probably know of our reputation, we have millions of users in the mechanical engineering space. But what we found over time is mechanical engineering departments and electrical engineering departments are typically siloed and they don't communicate or share information as well. So this additional 3D module that's available for 3D electrical allows us to really bridge that communication gap between electrical and mechanical engineering, allowing you to make better decisions earlier in the process. So this does require that you have SOLIDWORKS in your organization as well as the 3D module, which again are additional capabilities beyond the scope of what what really we're talking about with electrical schematic standard and schematic professional. But but this electrical mechanical integration is really a big benefit and, and really is, is unique within the industry uh, should you uh, have you know, mechanical engineering department you're trying to interface with. I think one of the greatest benefits of, of even showing this um, is this is the future. This is, if you are a small business owner and, or even somebody who is just trying to get, start their own, have a startup, this is where you could potentially be in a couple of years is doing something like this. It may not be right now, but this is where, you know, the vision, you know, five years down the road, um, where you could potentially be. <laughs> Completely. I agree with you very much. So not only do we have the 3D connectivity where we can do wire routing, we also have the ability to do harness capabilities where we can create valuable detailed harness drawings. Take this, this example here and I can take something like that and turn it into a harness drawing and flatten it out and pass this on to you know, my subcontractors or out on the shop floor. So you're cutting out all these middlemen, you're cutting out the steps to get to that end result. A few additional parts to the professional package, PLC management. Organize and manage your PLC information, including all the slots, the racks, and I.O. connections. Your connector wizard. So now you can take manufacturer part information, take the actual terminals that are in that connector, and let the software configure a symbol based off of that manufacturer part information. Custom part library classifications. You can now create your own classifications or sub-classifications for better symbol and manufacturer part organization. Perfect example, under my connectors classification, I've included two subcategories, classifications, one called jacks and the other one plugs. It just helps me to organize my library a little bit better. Excel automation. It automatically creates schematics based off designs that you've tracked through Excel. This is extremely powerful. This is more of a higher end feature within SOLIDWORKS Electrical, but there are a lot of higher end customers using it that love this feature. Um, if you want to learn more about this, we can talk about this at a later date. And you also have full API environment, where now you can go ahead, if you're good at programming, you have the ability to go ahead and create your own tool set that can connect to any type of external tools. So a recap on what Dassault Systems has, that wide variety of solutions. I covered just two of them, but there are a lot of them, and they are all communicating collaboratively. So not only do we have the features and the, the, the exact information we want out of the tool, there's a lot of other things that go into play with this, with SOLIDWORKS itself. And one of them is the subscription service benefits. And now you can automatically receive the latest versions of SOLIDWORKS software when it's released. You also get local technical support, so you can gain full access to live expert level technical support through your local value-added reseller. You'll get access to the customer portal where you can maximize your SOLIDWORKS experience, is where you would download additional software, product education, and easy to search repository filled with in-depth info and resources. And you also get access to mysolidworks.com where we have training modules and we have the knowledge base, which also has tech tips, webcasts, and administrative guidance. So if there's ever something that you need to figure out, you can always go to this knowledge base, type in a couple keywords and find a really cool, uh, sometimes videos or just a quick little, uh, essentially a blog on what, what needs to be done to fix the issue you're running into. So a little bit more about mysolidworks.com. This is, this has been growing for the past couple of years now. MySolidWorks.com has grown a lot. 
Um, so in addition to just basic training materials, I'm actually responsible for adding videos to here as well. And we've been adding a lot of videos uh, such as how do I edit a symbol? How do I use Excel automation the right way? How do I go ahead and use uh, the import export wizard uh, that we talked about earlier? So there's a lot of little videos on here, two, five minute long that you can watch while you're at work to get your job done. That way you don't have to sit, spend an entire day in a training class to figure out how to do this stuff. JP, let me add something to this as well. Sure. Uh, what, what we have with SolidWorks, my SolidWorks uh, core package, the, the basic package, is free for everybody, which has amazing uh, content and how-tos and tips and tricks for getting the most out of the software. There's actually a professional version as well that's an annual subscription that takes that a step further with professional level training, similar to what we do in the professional classroom training with SolidWorks Electrical, which typically is about a four-day class, as well as the 3D electrical and, and SOLIDWORKS routing. So there's a base capability that's available to everybody just by creating a login, but should you need more and want to go a little deeper and, and get a professional level computer-based training at an annual basis, that's available to you in my SOLIDWORKS professional. Great. Something for everybody. <laughs> so technology is important when selecting software, right? Um, but often not enough to maximize the productivity and the promise of greater automation and efficiency. How you deploy, train, and implement your technology is frequently in even greater importance. And some key takeaways of that are, you only have one number to call if there's trouble. There are certified experts, as I mentioned before, to help guide you through your designs. And help is available when upgrading all products at the same time, because a lot of times when you get into starting to, to work with these tools, you're going to upgrade your entire suite of SOLIDWORKS at the exact same time. Of course, there are simplified vendor relationships. And get you and your team out of the systems integration business. Let us do that for you. So that leads us to why we shared this presentation. And I think CJ would like to talk about this for a half a second. But right, definitely. There's, there's a special offer and the reason why we're showing all of this. Right. And so with our partnership with RS Components, uh, we together worked out a, a program for the DesignSpark legacy users that literally will make the software for SOLIDWORKS Electrical schematic professional and schematic standard at thousands of dollars off uh, regular SRP. Uh, there's an email address. Uh, pricing varies around the world, so I don't have a fixed price for you here, but uh, it is a substantial discount. And really, that's that's due to the nature of our relationship with RS Components. We felt it was the right thing to do for their users to provide this, this pathway to a more uh, feature-rich solution set and, and bring them up into some of the capabilities should they require it. So we have a special email for you to contact us directly. If you're a DesignSpark Legacy user uh, using the version prior to uh, <clears throat> December 30th, uh, 2019, email us at solworks.dseupgrades at 3ds.com for more details, and we'll route you appropriately. As we're both global companies, we will, uh, we will route you to the right geography, and they can fill you in on the details for what the local pricing is any, anywhere in the world where we both do business. I've also just added that email just to the chat to the entire audience. So if you, instead of trying to take a screenshot or read this really quick, you can copy it from the chat. So with that said, I'm going to leave it up for a couple questions here. And again, if we don't, if we don't have any questions now, we always, this will be open. We can always take your questions later on through that email address. Um, and with that said, I would like to, oh, I went too fast. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to join us today, and I hope you enjoyed learning about SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematic and Professional, and I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks again. And again, and again we really appreciate our partnership with uh, Allied Electronics and RS Components for uh, creating this tremendous DesignSpark community, and we hope, uh, hope to be working with many of you in the future uh, as part of uh, the SOLIDWORKS, uh, uh, SOLIDWORKS and Dassault Systems family as well. Thanks very much.